Hello everyone, this is Mike Sangvi from vlamon.com and I'm back with another IBM Cognos Report Studio tutorial video. And in this quick video, we will run how to hide IBM Cognos Viewer toolbar. So this is a reference image. So let me open this in new tab. Okay, so this is before and after output. In before, we are able to see this toolbar and after this changes, our toolbar is gone. So let me close this. For this video, we are going to refer this blog post. Blog post URL is available in the description of this video or you can click on this notification icon. For this, I'm going to open IBM Cognos Report Studio. So we are in IBM Cognos Report Studio. Now this is a blank IBM Cognos Report Studio report. Okay, so let me run it. We have nothing. So let me quickly add something so we can check our report is running or not so i'm going to select i want to add a header so i'm going to select this i want to create a page header okay so let me add a text item i'm going to type hello so this is our uh, blank report and we want to hide this toolbar. For hiding toolbar, I'm going to show you the two different methods. You can prefer your choice. So for the first option, we are going to use JavaScript. So let me add a HTML item. Okay. And let me run my report one more time. Okay. This time I'm going to open developer tool. Okay. For opening the developer console, you can refer my blog post and open browser developer option use the appropriate option as per your browser so internet explorer you need to press f12 and then you need to use this selection tool for selecting your element okay this is for chrome and opera you can use ctrl shift c and then you can use this arrow tool to select your required element Next, we have Firefox. For Firefox, we need to press Ctrl Shift I. Okay. And then you can use this arrow to select the element. Okay. So let me open uh, Report Studio IBM Cognos Viewer. Let me close this. I'm going to press Ctrl Shift I. And then I'm going to select this. And then we are going to select our toolbar okay so this is header title let me select this cell this is our logo container so this is our logo container this is our header title ibm cognos viewer this is our ibm cognos bi administrator and this is our ibm logo okay all these are child for this table okay so let me minimize this and let's right click on this and delete this node okay our options are gone but we are still able to see the toolbar for this let me first press ctrl z okay now i'm going to select this cell okay this is our cv header rs this is the id for this cell if i'm going to right click on this and if i'm going to select delete node my toolbar is gone so we are going to perform the same step let me press ctrl z okay we are going to hide this cell for this i'm going to copy this id cv header rs so let me copy this and then i'm going to open my ibm Cognos report studio and then i'm going to open my html item in this i'm going to copy my in this i'm going to copy javascript code for my blog post let me minimize this and this is our blog post we need to copy the javascript so we are going to copy this javascript code i'm going to paste it just here okay now what is the purpose for this javascript code let me click on ok and let me minimize this so in this we have a function function hide header okay on page load we are calling this function hide header inside a hide header we are first searching a element with id okay 
So ID is CV header dot IRS. So we need to hide this table cell. Okay. So in our JavaScript function, we are finding this element with its ID. Its ID is CV header RS. So let me minimize this. So we are we are finding our element with its ID and then we are changing its HTML style display attribute. Okay. We are assigning its style display to none. It means our this element is no longer visible. It is there, but it is no longer visible. In this hide header function, we have two alerts. Right now it is commented. You can uncomment it to test your JavaScript function. So let me open our report studio. Let me close this. So our this alert is commented. So let me uncomment it and uncomment this. Okay. So when our this hide header is going to call, we are going to we are able to see this first alert with its value one. Then our this line is going to execute to hide the toolbar. And then this alert is going to call. If we are able to see this alert, then we can say our function is executed successfully and we are fine with these changes and we can comment these two lines for deploy this report in production in online. Okay. So let me click on. Okay. All the alerts are only for testing purpose. So our first alert is executed right now. Our document dot get element ID line is not executed yet. Okay. So when we are going to click on, okay, the next line is going to execute is document dot get element ID. And this line is going to hide this toolbar. So let me click on. Okay. Our toolbar is now gone. The next alert is two. It means our JavaScript function is running perfectly. Click on OK. And this is our report output. Let me close this and let me open our report studio. I'm going to select this and I'm going to delete all the thing. So our first method is done. In the next method, we are going to hide the toolbar using CSS or you can say cascading style sheet. For this, let me first run our report one more time. And this time again, I need to open our browser developer option. Let me inspect this element. Okay. So we are interested in this. Okay. Now this element with ID CV header dot, uh, this is our element with ID CV header RS. In this again, we have a clause top row. Okay. We can use, we can modify this top row clause to hide this toolbar. For this, let me copy this top row. And this time we are going to use a cascading style sheet. For this, let me edit this HTML item. Inside this, I'm going to start with a style. And I want an end tag for this style. This is done. Now I need to create a class with name top row. In this class, we are going to simply type display colon none. Semicolon. I'm going to click on OK. Let me save this. Uh, I don't want to save it. I'm going to click on run and our entire toolbar is now gone. Okay. I don't want this behavior. I want my option to run my report. So with our style dot top row display none, we lost everything. We lost our toolbar. We also lost our option to run this report. For fixing this, let me first open our report studio. Okay, let me remove everything. Click on delete. I'm going to click on OK and then I'm going to run it one more time. I'm going to inspect this element one more time. So inside this, we have our main header. Okay, so we want to hide this our main header. So in this, we have a header back. Okay, so 
we can hide this individual element or we can hide this entire division element. For the code, I'm going to open my blog post and I'm going to copy this style code. Inside this, we are hiding our main header. We are hiding our header by nerd lip and we are hiding the parent for this two element is header back. Okay. Header back is a ID. Header back is a ID. So that's why this time the syntax is little bit different for CSS class. We need to use dot for IDs. We need to use hash. Okay. So let me copy this style element and then I'm going to open Kognos River and I'm going to paste it. Okay. And just for the demonstration, this is also going to work. I'm going to click on okay and I'm going to click on run. Okay. It is also working, but let me quickly add the remaining thing. Click on OK and this is your final execution. Now we have two options for hiding our toolbar or header for IBM Cognos Viewer. First one is the JavaScript, second one is the CSS. Choose what you like and that's it for this video. Finally, if you like this video, don't forget to click on subscribe, share it with your friend, provide your feedback and see you all in next IBM Cognos Report Studio tutorial video. Some important URLs.